There's more at stake than bashing dinosaurs. I don't need a babysitter, Cap. I'm still brilliant, even if I'm a teenager. I'm not babysitting. I'm here to help. Don't need it. Watch this. Are you sure this is a good idea? Yes. Maybe. I've never had a time stone stuck in my chest before, but whatever. Here we go. Yeah! Why'd you let me do that? I tried to warn you. Don't I... act like my dad. He thought you were so awesome that I should just be like you. Guess what? I'm not the great Captain America. I need your help, Cap. <laughs> Tony, you okay? I'm awesome! Uh, can you help me up? I can't control... Focus, Tony. You have the power to stop the time slips. What if it doesn't work? What if I de-age into nothing? What if I destroy the universe? Cap, I'm scared. No need to be, son. Easy for you to say. You're a big, brave superhero. I was brave long before I was Captain America. And Tony Stark was a hero long before he was Iron Man. Pause the training session. I thought having a photographic memory meant I'd never forget anything. Tony Stark actually forgot something? How tough being a kid can be. You were right. The past can teach us things. Like what being a hero is. I made that shield myself. Come on. I'll let you practice with the real thing. You know, I could take this to the lab and make some modern improvements. Kidding. Sort of. Jarvis, resume the training session. Regroup at the jet! Well, that impressed even me. Whoa. That's why I went off the grid. Didn't know who to trust. You want to do some trust exercises? Fall backwards. I'll catch you. It'll destroy you! Only if this is reality, which it's not. Right? You're betting your life on that? I'm betting my life on all of you! Trust exercise. What happened? The new rip in reality? Told you if you fell backwards, I'd catch you. Welcome back. Of course you know how to ride a horse. I didn't spend a month training with the cavalry for nothing. Looks like Falcon and Hawkeye broke a runestone from Asgard. I'm guessing it switched them with these Nixes from Vanaheim. Can you pony express this thing? Snowball's not a pony. He's a stallion. I got this. Remember, Ultron took over my dad's greatest creation. And I'm taking that personally. But some r, &R keeps the team's morale up. So, did I smell hot dogs up there? Finally, Cap joins the party. I told you I had all this cover. Back me up. Get to the base. I'll cover you. Some risks are worth taking. Not this time. Ultron's out there right now, planning humankind's destruction because you left your team in the dark. That's not how the Avengers operate. That's not how your father operated. I'm the one who decides how the Avengers operate. My team, my rules. I can't be on a team where I don't trust the leadership. What are you saying? I quit the Avengers. Giving Ultron LMD soldiers wasn't enough. You also supply him the means to wipe us out? Easy to place the blame at everyone's feet but your own. Ultron wouldn't even be here if you didn't lie to all of us. Hello, shield drones? Can we take a rain check on the arguments? Cap! Get back! Don't let any part of him touch you. Looks like Ultron's turned himself into a nanovirus. Brilliant, actually. Which means we need a brilliant way to get Falcon back. Tony, back! Iron Man, I have a plan.
plan. I had that under control. Not from my perspective. Pull your team back. You didn't miss this, Cat. You still don't get it. He was my father's greatest creation. No, you don't get it. Arsenal's not your father's greatest creation. You are. Make him proud, Tony. <laughs> Taking a huge risk that ends up saving the world? Tony does that five times before breakfast. That's what makes him the leader of the Avengers. I've got this. The rest is up to you, Cap. I can handle it. Don't get cocky. That's my thing. You realize that's a one-way ticket. He's not coming back. Fury was certain we couldn't bring you back. And that's why Fury's not on the team. And that's why we resigned from S.H.I.E.L.D. Avengers, reassemble. It's in clown suits. Seriously, who designed that look? You can, but it won't be graceful. Told you. Beautiful, isn't it? It sure is, Cap. Would you look at that? Uniting against Thanos helped us all get along. I'm sure it won't last, but I'm gonna enjoy this moment. Cake? Falcon's mom sent it. I have to admit, it's even better than her cookies. Tony, after all this, I see you're right. The Avengers need to be prepared for universal threats. I'm not one for rejecting compliments. And I wasn't as right as I thought. I was looking at our future as something out there. And I didn't realize it was always right here. I'm not following. From New Corbin to New York, we've discovered the Avengers are more than just a team. We've become an ideal. You said it yourself. Anyone who stands up to a tyrant or a bully is an Avenger. So where do we go with this? After some well-earned personal time, we'll come back stronger than ever, and we'll be ready to expand our horizons. Key word, expand. It's an Avenger's world. I can't believe you called us for this. Nice to see you too, Iron Man. I didn't say it wasn't nice to see you. I just can't believe you called us for this. Tony! Sorry, Cap. My bad. To sink. Too much time apart. We'll have to catch up. Away from here. Oh yeah. Always like that move. Iron Man needs some time. Because you only think of your. We are not fighting each other. Where did you digging through his sock drawer already tell you that? Your machines are useful, Iron Man. But don't mistake knowing where Cap is for knowing who he is. You think you know my pal Cap better than I do? Did you know his favorite ice cream is butter pecan? Cap, it's me, Tony. Yours and everybody's favorite Avenger? Capitan, this tooth me alive. Is Cap hearing what I'm saying? It has to be mind control. We have to figure out what kind. I don't think he's gonna sit still for an examination. Then we'll have to make it. It doesn't matter how many of you Hydra throws at me. You're not keeping Bucky. I won't leave him behind. You hear me? Come on, Cap. I don't want to have to hurt you. What language is he speaking? Tony, now! Sorry, Cap. I'll 
apologize to him again after he wakes up. If that's Cap, I'm gonna glue my fist to Zemo's face. We only just met, Iron Man. But this is goodbye. Zemo! Get away from my friends. Look who's back in the game. And I got you. This count is you saving Cap's life, or is this one mine? As far as I'm concerned, you're both lifesavers. Decorate. Thought you'd never unpack. Is that what you two thought? It's like you don't know me at all. I guess seeing Zemo spend his whole life trying to recreate history made me realize. I want to honor my past, not live there. Not like Zemo did. Thank you both for coming after me. I've always had friends I could count on. It's nice to know I still do. You always will. Although as a friend, I gotta tell you, this room would look a lot better with a couple of touch screens. Maybe a TV in the corner? I like things quiet in here. White noise generator. I know you can hear Hulk snoring. We all can. You're one to talk. You know, we can hear you during your naps complimenting yourself in your sleep. Okay, okay, hear me out. What about an ice cream machine? I know butter pecan is your favorite. Isn't it everybody's? Whoever was inside is long gone. Another human just discovered that they're inhuman. Now they're out there with their new powers. Ugh, there's too many all-nighters since the Terrigen wave, Cap. I'm just exhausted. Sorry, Iron Man. Still plenty of inhuman cocoons left to check out. He finished without me. I'm heading back to get some sleep. Oh, man. Piano? What? I'm not gonna let it wreck a handmade Austrian grand piano. This thing's a piece of art. A piano? Not gonna let that go, are you? Simmer down. They're just kids. But I like their moxie. But does no one say moxie anymore? Fine, I'm bringing moxie back. Tony, can you hear me? What's wrong? Friday, override and open his armor. Hurry! Tony! Huh? What are you doing? You thought something was wrong. I was trying to sleep. What's the problem? I do it all the... What are they doing here? Inferno and Ms. Marble are about to leave. Thought you might want to say something to them. I don't want to say anything to anybody. I'm so sleepy, I can't even... <sighs> Tony? Couldn't have done it without you. For kids? You're all right. Wow. He was actually nice to us. That's because you earned his respect. Tony, you okay? Just in time, Stark. If you're done with your nap, we could use a little... Tony, what are you doing? Tony, no! You wouldn't leave any of us. We're not going to abandon you. We all have work to do. I just have to do it from here. Tony, you've been the best friend I've had since... Maybe ever. I like to think I work best alone, Cap. But the truth is, I'm better because you're my friend. I'm surprised to see you here, Tony. New Year's Eve? Figured you'd be out at a party or on a date or something. I used to love New Year's Eve, Cap. All that wild non-stop partying until the break of dawn. Then I realized something. That there's more to life than non-stop partying? What? No. Uh, are you crazy? No. I realized that every night for me is non-stop partying because I'm me. I can party every other night of the year, but tonight, I'm close to a breakthrough on this. Picking up an energy signature. Someone in Central Park is using unauthorized Stark technology. Being an Avenger, always a nonstop party. Car crash. Wish there was some way to know, some proof that they got back okay. Well, how's that for proof? Yeah, that'll do. A nice gift to remember your father by. Yeah, but he gave me something better. They both did. Time. Extra time with the people you love is the best gift of all. Happy New Year, Cap. Happy New Year, Tony.
Well, I guess we should. Go, I don't believe go. it. Oh, okay. Iron all Man right, in the flesh. Right. We thought you were dead. Is it really you? And now I have to explain every little thing to you. Same old, same old. Tony, what about our questions? What? Fine. We saved the orb for you. Not a scratch on it. Oh, thanks. What? Where I have a real lab, and equipment, and interns I can throw things at. Just do the best you can, Tony. Uh, not the same. Besides, the best I can do might not be good enough. Things have to be done right. Gah! Oh, no! Come on! Oh. They have to be done right, or the Beyonder's gonna mop the floor with us. Hey, we're all frustrated, but we're almost there. So stay focused and try not to get rattled. Save the speech, Captain Perfect. I'm not one of your soldiers. You're gosh darn right you're not. Why don't you call me when you're done acting like a child? I'll be in the training room. Gosh darn? You kiss your mother with that mouth? Funny, it's not what Thor says. <laughs> Not helping, Tony. It's funny to make him mad. I'm calling a tactical retreat. Call it whatever you want, but call it fast. I have an idea. Just do what I do. Just do what you do? Nothing good ever comes from that. We're still alive. I'll have to take your word for it. <sighs> Absorbing Man, Ares, Crimson Widow, and Modok. Not exactly the dream team. How and why did those four come together? They'd work together if the Beyonder ordered them to. If I can just get to the Beyonder, I can figure this out. Gotta get in his head. I'll care for what you wish for. Beyonder! If you wanted to hang out, you could have just texted me. Just kidding. I have you blocked. Ah, Tony Stark. You and I have things to discuss. Come with me. Tony! What are you talking about? Tony, the Beyonder is... The Beyonder is right. With this, I could change everything. I could live forever. Live forever? What are you talking about? Get your hand off me. I told you I'm not one of your soldiers. You're not thinking straight. It's not like you to just accept something the Beyonder offers. Don't do this. It's already done. Remember how I couldn't get my Unibeam to work right? Funny thing is, I just fixed it. Tony, please, listen to me. That's close enough, Cap. I just want to talk. See? Look. You're not thinking straight. Don't let it control you. Thanks for the pep talk. I'll take it under advisement. Have you lost your mind? Have you? Tired yet? I could do this all day. <clears throat> Time's up. You finished? I think we're good. <laughs> For a fake fight, you hit me pretty hard. Don't you want to ask if I'm hurt? No. I want to ask, were you tempted? Sure. Who wouldn't be? It would have given me the immortality to learn all the knowledge in the universe. But it wouldn't teach me how to use it wisely. Guys chasing me through the Beyonder Citadel, and you didn't think to help me? And risk blowing our cover? Besides, I knew you were fine. You knew? I was pretty sure you were fine. You did it. We did it. We're ready.